Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host Wally and today we are doing some city guides on the Texas Sports Trail. And we are starting with San Angelo, Texas. San Angelo, Texas is one of the biggest towns here on the Texas Sports Trail, which is pretty small compared to some of the other trails out there. But there's plenty to do. They have got an amazing art scene where you can walk around and see some pretty cool art all around town, see different exhibits and stuff that are all pretty much free. You just gotta go there and enjoy yourself, looking at all the awesome art. They got this cool statue here on the Contour River, and it's a place where they have preserved a lot of their historic murals. I'm a big mural fan, so I always like coming to a city and seeing what the murals have to offer and learning a bit about the history and just seeing some of the awesome artwork. Now San Angelo is also home to Fort Concho, which is one of the old military forts that they used to have here. It's pretty well maintained. It's a big area, but it's pretty walkable. You don't need to ride on anything or feel that there's a long way to walk from one building to the next pretty easy. Plus they've got a lot of little exhibits that you can check out, such as these canyons. It sometimes amazes me that people were scared of cannons. Like when you see them in the battlefield they're like, oh no they got a cannon! And now I'm like, just like, move. Anyways, the site is pretty well maintained because the city decided to save it. Yes there's some ruins but most of the historic buildings are still intact which is pretty cool for history people, so they can come and see what a military fort used to be like, which is really different from nowadays. Then we have the International Water Lily Collection, which is in San Angelo for some reason. I am not sure why. I'm not sure if they have the perfect climate for it or what. But I was here during the summer and there was absolutely nothing. Just green lily pads, which I'm sure the frogs used to like. But then I came here two months later and there was a whole bunch of flowers, so maybe it just depends on when you go. But apparently a lot of the different lily varieties are created here at this place. So it's kind of cool to go there and watch the collection and see it grow and see the different types of colors of water lilies that there are out there. And it's pretty cool that some random place like San Angelo is the one that is doing it. Just like roses up in Tyler. I guess Tyler has roses and San Angelo has lilies. And then a pretty cool state park that I liked. It's pretty big. San Angelo State Park. I love cactus. And it's divided into two parts. I got the north unit and the south unit. This is the north unit. Which was more hiker friendly. I went looking for dinosaur tracks but I guess I saw them. I don't know. I wish it was more obvious that there were dinosaur tracks. I hope I did see dinosaur tracks or else I walked for hours for nothing. And then the south unit was burnt. I'm not sure if it was a controlled burn or what, but it was still pretty cool to go there and see this park. It's, like I said, it's pretty big. It takes you up. You can see the valley below between the mesas or whatever, the plateaus, I guess. But that is all you can do in San Angelo if you ever want to go there. So make sure you go visit, have fun, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.